welcome back to today's recipe. The recipe I'm going to do today is chorizo pasta with Mediterranean vegetables. For this recipe, you will need 60 grams of chorizo, 90 grams of pasta, uncooked weight, one garlic clove, one onion, a third of yellow pepper, a third of a red pepper, a third of a courgette, three mushrooms, two thirds of a tin of tinned tomatoes, half a teaspoon of basil, half a teaspoon of parsley, quarter of a teaspoon of oregano, and salt and pepper as usual. So start by putting your pasta in a pan and then add in water. And then put the pasta on the hob to cook and also put a frying pan on to heat. In the frying pan, place two thirds of the tin of tomatoes. Add the crushed garlic plus half a teaspoon of the basil half a teaspoon of the parsley and quarter of a teaspoon of the oregano. Mix together thoroughly and leave to simmer whilst you prepare your veg. First, slice up your onions. These don't need to be finely sliced. About three millimeters will do the trick. Then roughly dice your peppers. and roughly chop up your courgettes to the same thickness as your onions. And now back to our sauce. As you can see, our sauce has begun to thicken and our pasta is boiling nicely. At this stage, add in your vegetables and mix it all together. After adding a little bit of salt to your pasta, crack on with slicing up the mushrooms and the chorizo. We don't add these in too early as they don't take too long to cook. Season your sauce with pepper and salt and then add in the sliced chorizo and the sliced mushrooms. And as always, give it all a mix around and then leave it to simmer for about two to three minutes so that the chorizo has time to infuse into the tomato sauce. Then check that your pasta is cooked and drain away the water. You will want to leave the pasta a little al dente at this point as we will be adding it to the sauce. And here we are, adding it to the sauce. And once again, give it a mix around, making sure that every bit of pasta gets coated by this lovely, lovely sauce. And that is it. It's all finished. Cooking over with. All you need to do now is plate it up with a little side salad if you so wish. And enjoy. This is absolutely gorgeous and takes hardly any time at all. It really is a lovely dish.